just as prolific in offense, if not more. Colgate shut them out for the first time this season. Lafayette in the black here on the road, both black jerseys and black pants with black socks, while the Raiders, white socks, white pants, and a white base jersey with maroon stripes up the middle and maroon numbers on the back. Lafayette will move left to right to start this match out. Colgate from right to left. And we're off and running here from Hamilton. Good dribbling in the midfield by Grossi. Grossi trying to chip it ahead off the side of the head of Adelit, and then close down on quickly. Tried to clear it away, Adelit keeps it in, but Colgate finally able to clear up field. Off the top of the head of Corey, and right back for Lafayette. Lawrence Adelit definitely one to watch for Lafayette all from. They have a trio of dynamic goal scorers and just assist producers. Adelit one of them. Keitra Molitas, the other seven goals, and then Echeverria with seven assists here this season as well. Hill Lombard, four goals himself as well. Raiders pressing up for the first time. Here's DeVoke, DeVoke crosses it in. Comes off a of body and then cleared away for Lafayette. DeVoke, his fourth goal of the season. The winner for the Raiders back on Tuesday. For DeVoke, all four of his goals this season have either produced a win or a tie for Colgate. Expect a lot of DeVoke as well as Antonio Ducro eventually coming in off the bench. Kaysen Stafford, the freshman. Four assists, four points for him on the season. And a ball sneaks through Lafayette back line, but quickly off his own line. Alex Sutton boots it away. Stafford trying to settle on it. A good challenge by Grassi. Out of play. Sutton, the starter in there for Lafayette, essentially for every game this season, but one. He's 7 4 and 1 this season with a goals against average under 1, 0.67. 784 save percentage as well. Leads the Patriot League in goals against average. That same percentage is second. Made four saves earlier this week against the LaSalle. Colgate, they have Andrew Cook. Cook, three saves this week against Cornell in the win. Fourth win for him this season, two losses and three draws. One one six goals against average and a six nine four save percentage. Nodded along by Pahuli. Falls back for Grassi. He goes to his back line. Nick Hazel, preseason all Patriot League, who was Patriot League third team selection back in 2021, as well as an All American third team. 14th appearance for him this season for the senior out of New Jersey. Looks like at least starting out Lafayette trying to play a 4 1 4 1. It's going to be that changes as the game goes on. Colgate with three right now, uh, four in the back, depending on how they line it up. Both Leper and Winogrand, the primary center backs for Colgate. Harris here on the near side. And on the far side, Ryan Leeds. How far they press up will be interesting to see. Colgate has liked to press the wings every now and again. Throw in for Lafayette in front of the Colgate bench. Out of his net pressing up Sutton. Boots it long, looking for Keitra Molitis. Adelit, strong on the ball. Trying to dance around a couple of defenders, but Pahuli closes down on him. Able to find Stafford on the run. Stafford, gets double teamed, loses possession. Off on the run, Adelit. 
Kitra Molina has replaced him up in the middle. Mostly they'll be swapping out a little bit depending on who's where. Both can work down the left or the right. Strong possession from Panayidis. Giving right back to Colgate though. Leafs. All the way back for Lepper. Fam in the midfield gives it away. Intercepted by Mizrahi. Aidlit. Aidlit lit on his left, trying to cut back. He ended up in the corner. He did. What's your name? So the first corner of the game belongs to Lafayette. And it'll be Benji Grassi. Junior midfielder of Pembroke Pines, Florida, to play it in. Oh, I'm Taylor, by the way, too. Never said my name. <laughs> First corner about five minutes into this match for Lafayette. And the serve is right on top of the crossbar, and Cook has to bend back and tap it over. Leaping up, able to concede another corner, but it could have been much worse. Not exactly what Grassi was intending to do. Still pressure applied nonetheless. Switch it up for the second corner here on the right side. Produce another in swinger. Same service to the near post and then nodded up and over. Nick Hazel. Check that, not Nick Hazel. That was David Mizrahi, I think, on the near post. Left all alone, you could see immediately through his hands to his head. Left unmarked on the near post and just put it wide, a little bit high. Fan comes away with it in the midfield. Trying to turn upfield with a solid slide tackle from Grassi. So Lafayette with two corners already today. That now extends their league lead they have in corners. While Colgate actually has the second fewest. So a little bit of different ways of doing Lafayette's offensive pressure. Controlled, sustained, and constant. Colgate's a bit more strike of lightning. Trying to get something here. Stafford. Paholi wins it back in the midfield. Paholi cuts it back. Played along by DeVoke. Stafford tried to drive the pass into the box. Pinballs right back to him. And again rebuffed and cleared away by Lafayette. Long ball ahead. Aidlit trying to track it down. Off the top of the head of Lepper. And played back to Cook. Last year this game was a 1-0 win for Lafayette. David Mizrahi with the winner for Lafayette in the 26th. So far, scoreless through about the first 10. Two corners for Colgate, nothing, or two corners for Lafayette, not much doing offensively yet for Colgate. Rifled by DeVoke. And all the way back for Sutton to pick up. Sutton, goalkeeper of the week in the Patriot League a couple of weeks ago against Bucknell. 1-0 win for Lafayette. He made eight saves. Preseason goalkeeper of the year here in the Patriot League after a solid 2021. Had four shutouts and a goals against average. Just over one. Blew it away by Jack Needle. Tipped along for Keitra Melides. Down wide, Grassi again. Plays it back for Mizrahi. Yeah. 
Stolen back by Corey in the midfield. Corey and Bahuli both playing very well back. And central defenders, part of the midfield though. Corey will press up a bit more. Bahuli tends to lurk back more in Colgate's own half. Bahuli trying to challenge forward. Couldn't get it away from Grassi though. Grassi trying to lay it out wide. Kutra Molito is trying to track it down. He keeps it in play. And the through ball just not on the same page there. Kitra Molides and Mizarahi. So a goal kick for Andrew Cook. Sam, but as he tipped it on, nobody was there. Played all the way back for Sutton. Bouncing ball, he had to try to play it away. Deflected off of Sam and then launched towards midfield. Lepper puts his boot through it and it bounces all the way back to Sutton in front of his own net. Stafford won the header. Knocked up field, DeVoke stays strong on it. Stafford. DeVoke making a run, instead it's launched forward for Corey. Down it away by Lafayette. Steed caught a little bit out of position, but making up for it, Mason Pahuli. Steed playing here on the left, was caught forward a little bit. That's Pahuli's role in the midfield. Be anywhere he needs to be. Chip from a good way back and just wide by DeVoe. Not a bad thought by Aiden DeVoe. Thought he caught Sutton off his line. And I think even if that shot's on net, Sutton's probably back to knock it over the bar, if not wide. At least make him sweat. And Pham launches it out of play. Sutton, very much involved in this Lafayette organization as far as how they do want to set up and operate. They'll use him as a weapon. Work back to Sutton again. Need him. Mizrahi. Panagidis. All the way back up top. Trying to chip it over the top, but just out of the reach. One back by Lafayette, but if not for a foul, maybe Lombard racing ahead there. A little bit incensed at the call is Panayidis, showing his frustration to the referee. Colgate Lafayette scoreless here through about the first 15. Knocked out of play by Colgate. Long throw in, Adelin trying to dip the shoulder. Booted high and long the other way. DeVoe trying to apply pressure and falls for it. DeVoe edge of the box, onto his right, takes the shot. It's blocked. A lot of backspin and it comes right back to Sutton. Aiden Devonka forced to be reckoned with of late. Just a launched ball ahead. Somehow he's the one to come away with it. Up, 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 
popped up short by Sutton. Think back to Colgate's goal against Cornell earlier this week. That happened on the counterattack. It was a little two on two between Devoke and Ducrow. Ducrow found Devoke, able to cut back inside, beat the goalie. Cross into the box. Oh, bad thought there by Grossi. Head Adley. Just a little bit ahead of him. Straight at Cook on a hop. Cook launches downfield. Steed wanted a call as being hounded was to Vogue. It was a pinballing out of play. After Lafayette's win of last season, Colgate now 2017 and four all time against the Leopards. They have now lost four in a row to Lafayette. Fam trying to dance around Lombard. Gets stonewalled and tries to send it out wide for Leask. Ends up missing him. Go out for a throw. Yenis surveys. Hounded by Corey and Corey. Good challenge, wins it back. Fam, good touch. Rocketing through the midfield. Corey dances on the ball, hits Fam. And Fam cycles it all the way back up top. What a grab. Harris. The Holy, the little chip pass ends up falling back for Steed. The Holy again. Fam, ball through the middle, hits Corey. Corey chips it up into the air, comes down with it. Still Corey, taken down, fair play. Play ruled clean despite the effort from Corey. And then chipped in front of Sutton. But that's now the second time today. Cole Gaines just a long ball over the top. Has troubled Lafayette at least a little. First it was to Volk at his block shot. And then there it was Corey nearly drawing the penalty. Lafayette tries their luck over the head of Adley. Pujoli settles for Colgate. Fan pressured by Lombard. Back for Winograd. Drives it with the left and gives it away to Lafayette. Mizrahi, Adley. Colgate wants a handball, won't get it. Lombard still on the ball. Lombard takes the shot, it's deflected and in front cleared away by Lepper. Looks like the referee explained to Mason Paholi why he didn't think it was a handball. Talking something over about a deflection off the knee, then to the hand inadvertent. Hand wasn't away from the body, natural position. Connor Dawson is the one to play this in for Lafayette. Dawson sends it in near post again and cleared away by Colgate. And a dangerous looking cross from Dawson. First time Lafayette had that corner from that spot. So this ball right in to Cook, he settles it. That first quarter from this side that Dawson delivered really resulted in a goal. Comes off the back of DeVoe, chipped back towards Ned. Sutton has to settle it himself and then bombs it downfield. Oh, 
Pham. Pham driving down the right side. Least. And all the way back for Leper. Paholi traverses upfield. The midfield fan. Surrounded by a wave of black jerseys. Outlet to Harris. Harris nearly slipped it through for Steed. Cleared away for a Colgate throw. 20 minutes gone by. Colgate nil, Lafayette nil. Lafayette the only shot on net. Three corners as well. Fam. Harris. Paholi. Little give and go comes back to it. Devoke. Just out of the range of Steed. Wasn't on his run yet. Pass a little bit too strong ahead of him. Start to see some things materializing for Colgate offensively here. Sutton launches ahead. Keitra Molina is battling with Leesk. And Leesk clears it away for a Lafayette throw. Pinballed around in the midfield, falls for Lombard. Grassi. Lombard makes a run on his right. Lombard. And Lombard gets dispossessed with a phenomenal challenge from Ethan Harris. Lays it out for Corey. And Lombard had a significant height advantage on Harris. Harris listening to just 5'8. Lombard 6'4. Lombard, an exceptionally big target up top. Kicked ahead by Grossi, and then nodded back for Cook. Through ball, launched overhead, and out. Both sides starting to get some substitutes warmed up here. It's a cold, chilly night. Temperatures were in the 70s. Earlier today, obviously now sunset getting deep into the night. Not as cold as it probably should be here in mid-October. It's still a crisp fall night. Harris changes the field. Pass won't get through though. Now to the wing nicely by Dawson. Good back heel. Into the box, Colgate got stuffed out for a moment. Corey goes down again. Won't get the call this time. Still on it, down again, and the call given. Colgate's long-awaited penalty finally crystallizes. We'll see who takes it for the Raiders. And it's going to be Mason Pahuli. Pahuli has not scored this year. Nil nil for now. Can all change with the right foot of Pahuli. Sutton in the middle of the goal. Paholi for the lead, and it's denied. The rebound kept out. Devote finds the net. Who else? 
It had to be Aiden DeVoe. Colgate one, Lafayette nil. Paholi demand from the spot. And there, on the spot, Aiden DeVoe. He's been the match winner all year for the Raiders. And he comes through again. Raiders one, Lafayette nil. 21 32 to go in the first half. DeVoke's fifth of the season. Sutton made the initial stop. The rebound was kicked around for a good bit. Five, six seconds before it finally fell to DeVoke. Finally took out his right and rifled it in. So the Raiders now protecting a 1-0 advantage. Paholi ends up getting credited for the assist. Prior to the penalty, by the way, the foul had been called on Benji Grossi. They conceded the penalty. And it looked like it was Ryan Lees, the one who ended up drawing it. Have to go back to the video to make certain. But after that, it was all Aiden DeVoe. And then taken down from behind Mizrahi. He's in a good deal of pain. Holding his lower back. Clock stops with 2013 to go here in the first half. So Mizrahi able to get up, still holding his lower back, stretching out his right leg. That was the first penalty that Lafayette had conceded this season. And naturally, Sutton, the preseason Patriot League goalie of the year, there to deny it. Good ball in, comes back for Grossi. He gets dispossessed, but wins the foul. And a free kick from a pretty ripe spot now for Lafayette. Just outside of the box. Options for Lafayette. Do have a good fair bit of height. Lombard up front. We've also seen Connor Dawson who's standing over the ball right now. So that's a pretty lethal left foot. It's where Colgate has the ball set up. Looks like they'll have Cook to his right near the post. <laughs> Dawson and Grossi over the ball here for Lafayette. Who takes it? Grossi will, and he's denied. <laughs> Lafayette and I thought Cook made the save on it. But the ruling will be either that Cook pushed it off the post or it got all post. Because no corner. First substitution of the game. Nick Steed comes out. And coming in, Antonio Ducro. From the naked eye, it certainly looked like Cook got there first. Pushed it wide and either clipped the post or the outside of it. Well, the way it ends up playing out is no corner given. Good run by Lombard. Flicked ahead for Adlin. Cook and Adlin race the ball. Cook got there first. Punched it away. 
Ailey goes head over heels and he's down in a heap. And Lafayette still incensed. So too is Lafayette's coach. Dennis Bond is absolutely livid. It'll be a long throw in by Echeverria. Echeverria has seven assists this season, and now finally, our referee comes over to talk to Bond. I thought that this would have happened a minute or two ago, but they waited until Bond's tirade was done. He's still going on. He's not as hot as he once was. But man, he was absolutely ripping. And I think his argument here stands by, if you're going to give the foul for what turned into the penalty, then Paholi was denied. How you don't give one there when Adelit was taken down. Seems to be his thought. So we're getting to line everybody up. It'll be a long throw in by Echeverria. He has seven assists from doing this this season. Long run, he hucks it in. Over towards Lombard, but ending up getting the head on it was Kutra Melitas, and Cook got there. Echeverria has the most assists in the Patriot League by doing that. Every single assist has come from this. Had one earlier this week against LaSalle. And the way he does that is something that has come around with the advent of analytics. More so in soccer. With the basic premise being the more balls you can put into the box via a cross, be it corners, if you do just cross it in regularly, or if it's a throw like that, all the better. DeVoke couldn't hold on to it with back to net. Stafford ships it ahead, pinballed away. Panagilis, Lombard. One touch ahead for Grassi. And an aerial battle and a foul. And it looks like Adam Pham is being issued a card. Yellow. So yellow card on Adam Pham. That's the first card issued here today. Sutton takes the kick for Lafayette. Falls back out for Dawson. Panagidis trying to step over towards the corner flag and ends up earning a throw. And over comes Echevarria. And this will be another opportunity for him. Colgate won Lafayette new. Aiden Devoke after a missed penalty. Able to slot it home and give Colgate the lead. Think of a real line drive throw to the near post. It falls. Adelit. Can Lafayette get a shot off? No. It ends up in a goal kick. Wasn't a real good chance for Adelit to get anything off there. He had his back to net. Best he could have done was a blind swipe back heel. Karasi boots it ahead, thinking Adelie burned out of his reach and all the way to Cook. Harris works by Karasi. Still hand fighting for it. Harris stays on it. 
plays it through for DeVoke. Looking for the cross, gets double teamed, taken down a touch. Not before flying in. Ducrow sends it with the outside of his foot off the side of the net. Substitutes coming in for Lafayette here. Aidlit and Panagidis come out. Coming in, Jack Borden. And Carter Houlihan. Pahuli. Corey, good turn. Has Fam on his left. Instead cuts it back right. Deflected ball, Ducrow giving chase. Keitra Melitis, dispossessed. Corey, through a ball for Ducrow. Botched up into the air. Controlled by Mizrahi and back for Sutton. Cleared away. Given away in the midfield for Lombard. And he boots it right on back to Colgate. And he immediately put hands to head and ooh hoo hoo. Little something there as Borden went in on Cook. And either Borden sold it very hard or Cook actually did take him down a touch. But you could feel this kind of brewing a little bit in the early going. There's some hard challenges. Penalty given. Obviously, you see the fire that Dennis Bond, the head coach for Lafayette, brought over a couple of the calls. It tends to manifest itself in more physical play, tough aerial battles. Adam Pham has already got a yellow card. And with that all breaking out, I think what we just saw between Borden and Cook, probably not the last time. And with that, Adam Pham comes off. Bobby Foos makes his debut for today. Lombard pressing Winograd, who was all the way back for Cook. Paholi and Borden. And the pass intended for Foos went by him. Good one touch on the left side for Lafayette. Racing after it, Grossi. Can he keep it in? No. At least for the moment, Colgate's tried and true method this season. Find a goal and hold on for dear life. So far holding firm. A lot of one goal wins this season for the Raiders. Stafford with the chest for Ducrow. Ducrow wanted to get back onto his right. Instead takes it down the left side. And he tries to fire in the cross, gets blocked, but earns a corner. First corner of the game for Colgate. Lafayette with three here in the early going. towards the back post and reaching out for it's Sutton, deciding to deal with it himself. Oh, 
Under 10 to go here in the first half. Colgate one, Lafayette nil. Challenge from behind and a whistle. Corey not exactly on the same page as the referee is to having that whistle go. Sutton cross field for Keitra Molita, who nods it back. Lombard over his head. Colgate trying to clear out of their own end. Winograd gave it right back. Her muscle through two Colgate defenders. Corey the Stonewall trying to stay strong on the ball. He does. Least up the far side. Foos taken down from behind. For the ball loading out for a throw. And to do giving the free kick at the very least there. Now the ball had already run out for a throw instead. Long ball ahead for Ducrow. Can't get there in time. Both sides with two shots on net now. Both the Cole Gaines coming in a 15 second spin. Penalty followed up by Devoke finding the back of the net. Off the side of Duke Rowe, DeVoe trying to hold on to it. Deflects out of play for a Colgate throw. Foose. Duke Rowe trying to cross, got deflected. Hand out for another Colgate throw. Two subs ready to come on for Colgate. One for Lafayette in the offing. Foos. Needham wins the challenge, knocks it ahead. Grassi. Grassi with green grass in front of him. Lays it out for himself. Stafford the challenge, getting handsy. Lombard ships it ahead, knocked away by Harris. Needham, double teams. Able to pick out the pass though. Borden, give and go. Borden trying to get back to it. Camps, the vote whiffs on the clearance. Kept in by Grassi, and a hard challenge. Harris taken down. <coughs> Bombed ball ahead, knocked down by Lafayette. Fourth throw. Substitutes coming on now for the Raiders. Devoke, the only goal scorer in the game, comes off is well as Alejandro Corey. Simon Hall comes in. as well as Daniel Brennicky. Brennicky, a good touch. Stafford, edge of the box with space, takes the shot, but it deflects right at Sutton. Talk about instant impact from Brennicky, setting up Stafford, looking for his first collegiate goal. And how big would have that been, heading into halftime? For Lafayette, by the way, Sebastian Varela 
has come in replacing Benji Grossi. Lombard, Harris Cunsadel, launched downfield. Hazel trying to settle, can't as Fu supplies the pressure, and all the way back for Alex Sutton. Leask got spun around, gave it away. Mizrahi, near side, now Dawson. Dawson whips it in, that's a good ball, but Lombard couldn't get to it. Little tangle up between Leper and Lombard. Leper had the inside track, boxed him out. Ended up incurring the foul. can't get to it. Lafayette trying to work quick here in the final three minutes of the first half. Colgate leading 1-0. Antonio Ducro, or Aiden DeVoke, beg your pardon. 15 minutes in. Miserahi. Chips it back to his left, Kitra Melitis. Pinballing around the midfield, Mizrahi challenged from behind, dispossessed. Hulahan, Borden. Borden double teamed and knocked out of play by Colgate. Two minutes left for Lafayette to work with. We'll bring Echeverria over to the near side here to launch this one in. Echeverria towards the middle of the box. Lombard launches for it. But it falls back outside the box. Teacher Melitis. Crossed in, Cook comes out, claims it. <laughs> Brennicky tracks it down. Loose ball, now Pahuli. Give and go from Hall. Harris. Under a minute left here in the first half. Looks like Colgate might be content to bring a 1-0 lead into the locker room. And Ducro offside. Lafayette trying to sneak in one more look before the halftime break. 25 seconds with the stop clock. Sutton launches it into the box. Falls back outside. Hulahan towards the corner flag. Throws an elbow and down goes Pahuli. That'll bring us to halftime. But will it include a card for Hulahan? Somehow it won't. And that is how we go to halftime. 
with a certain applause. 45 minutes in the books, it's Colgate one and Lafayette nil. Into the locker rooms we go. Gate has outshot Lafayette three to two. So if you can just replicate what you did from the first half, easier said than done. And Colgate should be able to take all three. For Lafayette, I think the answer for them probably lies in not pressing too much here. Yes, they trail one nil, but with an offense that can be as explosive as what they have, there's no reason to press too early. Popped up into the air. Lafayette wanted a handball, and belatedly they get it. So the numbers from the end of the first half, by the way. Cole gained seven shots total, Lafayette with five. Raiders had three on net, Lafayette had two. And Leopards with three corners to just one for Colgate. Possession-wise, it was split nearly even. 51%, 49%, Lafayette to Colgate. Battle for it along the far sideline and then rifled. I have no idea what Will Egaferia was thinking there. He was trying to go for goal, rifle and cross or something. He sent that all the way to the field hockey stadium. Moving towards Tyler's field. Saw a little bit of feisty hand play right before Echeverria bombed that ball out of play. And remember how the first half ended. It was a hard challenge between Carter Houlihan and Mason Pahuli. Some tempers flared a little bit. People were getting angry. It was getting chippy. And it's definitely been a bit more vocal on field so far today about people voicing their displeasure. I don't expect things to boil over here. But as the seconds continue to tick down on the remainder of this game, if Lafayette continues to trail, more desperate, that's in guests either to hold on to win or to come away with a win and battle back. More desperate one becomes. Certainly see some very aggressive play. Lafayette wants the call, hard challenge in front of their own bench. And it'll come, yellow card. That's issued to Alejandro Corey. Both yellow cards today have been shown to Raiders. Here for Corey in the first one, going to Adam Pham. So it'll be a free kick from the far side for Lafayette. Have Connor Dawson set up on it. He has provided really good service, both from free kicks and from corners so far today. One person wall for the Raiders. And it looks like Devoke. Free kick towards the near post. Gets nodded back towards the left side. Adelin going one on one with Pham. Gets the cross in. Had a free runner. It falls back for Lombard, who gives it away. Grossi plays it into the box for Adelit. Adelit trying to turn onto his right. Bodies off of Winograd. Cuts it by Winograd, trying to keep it in. Gets challenged again by Harris, and it'll be a corner. 
Colgate voices their displeasure over that call. It'll be another corner for Lafayette, their fourth of the game. And once more, it'll be Connor Dawson to send an in-swinger. Dawson again, near post. Cook taps it away. It's now the third time out of four corners. The Lafayette has sent something towards the six yard box. Trying to get real in tight with the keeper. See if they can force a mistake, but Cook has been up to the task. Going back to the game against Cornell, it's now been 130 plus minutes here this week for Cook. Shutout soccer. Fan. Good ball for Steed. Plays it through. It's Devoke. Devoke into the box. Stops the dime, turns back. Devoke trying to get back onto his left. Is possessed nicely by Hazel. But a pro being run. From Aiden Devoke, first time that Colgate and has been able to provide anything here in the second half. Then given straight away to Vuk. Pham. Pham trying to lay it through for Ducrow. Gets gummed up in the corner. Cleared away as far as Leesk. Leesk sends it into the box. Carroll is back out. Ducrow took a shot. Falls back for Pham. Colgate won a handball. Pham spin move on his left. Shot blocked. Leesk. Tries to send it back for Winograd, who just has to boot it upfield. Too much pressure. Adelit nearly committed a foul. Lee's did on Adelit, who sends a nice ball forward. Cook off his line, has it taken away. Gaitre Molinas has it, but a foul. That ends up being the call. Gaitre Molinas, a foul on Cook. For a moment there, looked like maybe it was just incidental contact. Cook got there first, had his hands on it before Kitra Molinas knocked it away. And once more, head coach Dennis Bond for Lafayette is disputing the call. So a big break for Colgate. That was nearly a ramp opportunity for Lafayette to tie this up. Instead, just a foul, and Keitra Molina is a little bit lucky that that didn't result in the yellow. Grossi. Grossi dispossessed from behind. Pahuli comes away with it. And is fouled by Grossi, tucking on his shoulder. This is what we expected coming out of the half. And things would ratchet up a little bit more physically. A little more hand grabbing. Challenges would get a little bit more intense. We expected it a little bit later in the second half, not here in the first 10 minutes. Everybody wound up a good deal. Game that means so much today. Good ball through, it's Ducrow. Ducrow edge of the box, works his way in, lays it back out, Corey. Corey spins, shoots its blocks. Cleared out by Lafayette. Corey working on a yellow card already today. Both him and Adam fail. Ducrow. And then all the way back to Winograd. Winograd a laser forward. Flies by Steed by everybody. Hand out for a throw.
four finals across the Patriot League already from this weekend. Three games today, one yesterday. Navy and Lehigh, a four goal thriller. Ends up in a tie from Bethlehem. Navy two and Lehigh two. BU on the road. This is a BU team that lost to Colgate earlier this season, 3 0. They go into the presumptive Patriot League favorites. Come away with a 1 0 win as Colgate earns a corner. Holy Cross and American end in a scoreless drill. That's a big, big loss of points for American, leaving two on the table against Holy Cross, who's currently bottom of the table. Just their second point of the season. And then yesterday, Army thrashing Bucknell 4 1. Second corner of the game for Colgate. Good ball in towards the middle and easily handled by Sutton. Thrown ahead for Keitra Melides. Sends it back to Hazel. Needham. Bombed ahead, Aidlip getting under it. Him and Lepper collide a little, falls back for Lombard. Lombard and Pahuli. And out for a Lafayette throw. It'll be Echeverria again for a long throw in. Gives himself ample runway. As far back as he can go up against the fence that surrounds Byer Small. Echeverria launches it in and Cook high points it. Ducrell has the pass picked out initially. Corey falls back on it. Fam. Paholi, feeling pressure from behind, checks over his shoulder. Tries to play the ball through for Fam. Can't get there. Panayidis. Taken away by Corey. Trying to get out and run. Stumbles over the ball, surrounded by black jerseys. And ends up winning it back nonetheless, but then gives it right away. Penagidis. Working out wide. Eight wit into the box. Lays it back. Good slide tackle and the ball kicked up field. Things starting to settle in here in the second half after a very testy first 10 minutes. Strong on the ball, Keitra Melitas. Seven goals this season for him. Scored at LaSalle earlier this week. Adelit into the box. Challenged by Winograd. And out for a corner. Second corner here in the second half. For Lafayette. Carter Houlihan comes in once again here in the second half. Sophomore midfielder. Remember, it was him and Pahuli who were going at it right up until the stroke of halftime. Line drive ball in, and it's not just wide.
Corey chips it ahead. Sam will head on by DeVoe. And back for Pahuli. Harris. Ducro. Corey again. Lays it out wide for Harris. And then all the way back for Winograd. Cook. Fan. Able to lead Devoke nicely. Overlapping run. Devoke trying to split the defenders. Who did it come off of? Evidently, Lafayette thought it was going to come off of them, them for a quarter. So Hazel plays it out for a throw. Towards the corner, flag fan. And played out by himself. 15 minutes on here in the second half. Colgate one, Lafayette nil. Antonio Ducro scoring for the second straight game to put Colgate ahead. After Mason Bahuli denied from the spot by Alex Sutton. And DeVoe cleans up the rebound. And straight out of play by Dawson. Substitution for Colgate. Their first here of the second half. Casey Stafford comes back in as Antonio Ducro heads out. Fam trying to juggle has it taken away by Dawson. Give it away, Gidra Melitis. Adlin played in nicely. Can he get to it and keep it in though? He can. Lays it back. Grossi, edge of the box. Grossi crosses it in. Gidra Melitis denied. Rebound in front and boomed away. And a foul given. What a denial from Cook. Point blank range. Keitra Molitis with seven goals in the season. Tied for the Patriot League lead in goals. Can't beat Andrew Cook. He has been stellar all week. And he comes up huge for the Raiders here. Keeps Colgate up by one. But a rare mistake today by the Raiders defensively. And they nearly paid dearly for it. Adlet trying to cross, and it's out for a corner. And it feels like Lafayette's offense starting to reach a crescendo. Poking and prodding here in the first half. That dangerous look from Kitra Melitis. And now all of a sudden, another corner. It'll be Dawson again. Dawson high off to it, back post. And Cook off his line, rises for it. Right over the head of Lombard. Stafford chops it back for Lee's who gives it away. Grossi. Still Grossi takes the shot and launches it high. But that's the second straight giveaway in the midfield for the Raiders here in the past five minutes. 
It was a very fine tight rope to walk, to live with giveaways in your real day. Colgate has lived to tell the tale more often than not this season. But doing it against Lafayette is asking for trouble. Stafford races forward, gets there in front of Houlihan. Pham comes in for support. Hard challenge on Houlihan, Raiders win it, but can't keep it in. Just out of the reach of DeVoe. And Houlihan holding his left arm pretty gingerly. Hitra Melitas comes in to check on him. But the way Houlihan is holding his left arm is, doesn't seem good. Still trying to flex it out and feel for it. Houlihan and Leask go up for the header, it comes off of Leask. Hand back to net. Dawson. Into the middle, out of the reach of Mizrahi, back for Dawson. And then all the way back for Sutton. Over the head of Stafford and Hulahan there. And out for a throw. Fam trying to flick it out of the air instead. Mizrahi comes away with it. Borden goes out wide. Adelit to the corner. Adelit and Harris going at it. Harris wins the challenge. Passing within their own box. Dangerous. Colgate gets away with it. Has just felt like everything here in the second half for Colgate. Just asking for trouble. Passing within their own box, one turnovers in their own end. Now across into the middle, pinballed back out. Keitra Melita is trying to slide it in. Hand over comes Echeverria for another th long throw. So one thing to remember, Lafayette does lead the Patriot League in corners, but the number of added corners, so to speak, that they get from Echeverria with these types of throws should also be accounted for. Long throw in, Cook comes out, grabs it. Bombs it downfield, trying to start the rush. Corey settles, good challenge by Borden. Plays it out. Leask wins it back, tumbled over from behind by Lombard. Lepper lobs it towards the box. Lombard won the header, then Pahuli plays it out wide for Stafford. Pahuli, Stafford again, now Lees. Lees with the left, good find. DeVoe couldn't settle it, bounces up into the air. Hand pin balls all the way back for Lees. Stafford near side. Working with the sideline, couldn't slip it through. Cancel out by Dalston, but out for a throw. And a substitution before the throw for the Raiders. 
Alejandro Corey comes off. That looks like Simon Hall again. So Simon Hall, the junior, comes back in. Fam. Edge of the box. Challenging forward and forces Lafayette to kick it out of play, but first a foul. DeVoe had been battling with Hazel, who had hit the deck. Twenty-two minutes left for Lafayette to find an equalizer. Twenty-two minutes left for Colgate to hang on for all three points and go into the top three of the Patriot League. Mizrahi. Echeverria. All the way out wide. Adley. Slid right by him. And out for a goal kick. Three shots apiece on net so far. For Colgate, all of those coming in the first half. Lafayette with the only shot on net here in the second. And that was Keitra Melides with a header from in tight on Andrew Cook. Took a quality stop to keep Colgate up 1-0. Dawson. Dawson now playing his 12th game of the season after appearing just six games last year, started two. Aidlet in the middle, lays it out, Keitra Molinas. Colgate thought he was off, he slides it just by the goal mouth. Deflected out for a corner. But scary moments again for the Raiders trying to hold on to this one goal lead. Keitra Molina has another phenomenal chance. It'll be Dawson to send this one in, an outswinger for the first time today. Dawson plays it short. Karam's out wide. Kicked back in, but ranked as Hall. Simon Hall lofts it downfield. Needham gives it away, Stafford. And lays it just out of the reach of DeVoke. But time and space for DeVoke. Still DeVoke. DeVoke splits a couple of defenders and then booted away. Mizrahi. Keitra Melides lays it forward for Borden. And then a good slide tackle. Dale Lepper. Sophomore coming in clutch. They had a very potent offense. 19 minutes to go for them to find an equalizer. They've been shut out only a couple of times this season. However, of late, they have had trouble. Prior to their game at Lehigh, where they won 3-1, three of their prior four games, they had been shut out. Their only win was a 1-0 win at Bucknell. Stafford, Harris, good flick on and the Raiders on the move, outside the box, but a key challenge for Lafayette wins it back and an eventual whistle for a foul 
negates any pressure. Keitra Melides. Dawson again. Cross into the box. Lombard popped it right up. Easy enough for Cook to fall on. Holy goal came about 25 minutes into the first half. Raiders earned a penalty. Mason Pahuli couldn't convert. But the rebound fell to Aiden DeVoe. He poked it home. And with his fifth goal of the season, Raiders have a 1-0 lead trying to hold on to it. Bobby Foos checks back in for Colgate. Came off the bench back in the first half. Keitra Melitis and played straight out. Fam gives it away. One right back by the Raiders. Stafford lays it back for Hall. Out wide, looking for Fam, didn't get enough on the pass. And here comes Lafayette the other way, looking for Adley on the line. But Lepper steps into the pass. Hall wins it back with a slide tackle. Devoke, Hall, Stafford, down to the ground, lost it. Lombard, back heel. Deflates over towards Adley, but Lepper again steps in front of him. And Devoke, looking to flick it towards Stafford. Out for a throw. Devoke, a little spin move and then a shove. Borden goes down. Crossed in from Dawson, blocked. Stafford puts his body on the line in front of it. A long ball ahead, off the head of Houlihan. And straight to Sutton. Coco launches it downfield. Up towards the moon and back down. Hall lets it bounce. Lombard shrugs off the challenge from Foose. Mizrahi. Dawson looking to send it in. Hand over everybody. Keitra Melitas can't keep it in. Right thought had the run. Just too much on the ball. Substitutions for both sides. Aiden DeVoke comes out. And Daniel Brennicky comes in. Benji Grossi comes back in. Check that's Timmy Donovan who comes in, not Brennicky. Stafford, Donovan in front of him, 
both looked at the ball and Kerem's out for a throw. And a tough challenge haul on Lombard. Hard challenge, Donovan wins it back. Him and Egevaria going at it. Donovan fresh off the bench with a spark of energy. And comes off of Grossi and down for a Colgate throw. 12 minutes left. Colgate still clinging on for a one goal lead. A lot of green grass here on the near side. Leafs. Hall. Stafford. Still Stafford. Stafford tried to play it in for a running boost and then Donovan couldn't hold on to it. Trying to make a run himself was Grossi, but he gave it away. And a hard challenge on the outside and a foul. Fam goes down. Colgate takes their time on the ball. Here with under 11 and counting. <laughs> Trying to salt away this game for a pivotal three points here in the Patriot League men's soccer table. As things currently stand, Colgate with a win would rock it into a tie for second with American. American having beaten Colgate earlier this year, 3-0 here at home. Home tiebreak. But still, third place, just a couple of Patriot League matches left, not too shabby. Adlet racing after it, but Cook off his line gets there. Donovan tried to turn up field. Didn't have the angle though. Two substitutes for, Le for Lafayette. Lombard comes off. Interesting. Given the timing. Under 10 minutes left, he did seem to tweak his knee a little bit. Came off and played fine though. Panayidis comes back in. And Carter Houlihan also comes back in. Lafayette looking for a cross. Get it in. Deflects up into the air. Adlin chips it up into the air. Trying to cross one more time over. Head gun deflected. Fam trying to clear. Gets it loose. And then right foot back to the edge of the box. It falls near side. Keitra Molitas. And Keitra Molitas goes down. No call. <coughs> Donovan trying to work around Hazel. Plays it back to his own keeper. Still Sutton. Adlet. Trying to win it back, couldn't. Win it right, able to clear. Stafford, challenge from behind, stays on the ball. His pass blocked though, Mizrahi. Kedro Molides. 
Stafford can't intercept the air and pass a shot from outside. And Borden sent it just wide of the post. Lafayette's offensive intensity starting to reach a maximum. Eight minutes left. Colgate won Lafayette nil. Aiden DeVoke right now his fifth goal of the season, proving to be yet another game winner. And Paholi just bombs it downfield. Molitas can't keep it in on the pass back. Dawson foul tipped it out of play. And three substitutes now for the Raiders. Nick Steed comes back in. Looks like Aiden DeVoke and Anton or Alejandro Corey come back on as well. Throw in just now the reach to vote. <laughs> Harris nodded it ahead into the midfield. Back to Lafayette. Dawson. Good pass through. Found Kutra Melitis. He laid it back. But Panagidis is passed to him off target. Fam, pressured by Panagidis. Outlet to Hall. Good ball through. It's DeVoke. Can DeVoke ice it? DeVoke in the box. And the ball comes out for a goal kick. Substitution for Lafayette. Lombard back on. Ms. Rahi off. Lafayette with all the offensive firepower up top here. The final 540, trying to find an equalizer. Lofted ahead, Cook off his line, grabs it. Lafayette trying to build help from the road end. Dawson. And the ball slipped all the way through to Cook. And Borden, I think, thought he had a runner behind him. So he tried to dummy it. Well, there was nobody making a run behind him. Dawson, upfield. Nodded away from the Colgate back line. Harris gives it away. Lafayette out on the move. Cross into the, into the box, pinballed back out. Slide tackle from Gross. He stays in the ball. He's knocked down by Harris. No whistle. Steed. Corey. Back for Steed just out of his reach. Gave it away to Borden. Grossi. Pressured by Corey. Corey deflects the pass out. It'll be a throw in from Echeverria. Trying to launch this in. Cook has come out to grab most of the throws so far today. 
This one will line drive, center of the box. Comes back out for Dawson. Kedra Melitis lobs it back in. Knocked away by Harris. Corey, the pressure, and out for another throw. Three minutes stand between all three points for Colgate here today. Lombard trying to hit it into the middle, didn't find anything. Lombard and Beholdi, Lombard stays on the ball. Adlet trying to turn, still Adlet. Crosses it in, it's blocked. Falls back for Beholdi, clears it downfield, Devoke. Devoke gives it away, Panagidis. Lafayette looking to change the field. All the way back, Sutton. Egeveria. Houlihan crosses it in. Did it deflect out? It did. Corner. Two minutes left. Colgate one, Lafayette nil. Lafayette putting everything they have right now in. Dawson to send it in. Towards the near post, and it goes in. It's Lombard. The Lombard finally gets on the end of the cross. The good corner from Dawson. And the Lombard, with his fifth of the season, ties it with a minute 42 to go. Consistently, Lafayette has provided that service. Dawson, right in towards the near post, and then flight towards the back. This time, it was Lombard. His fifth of the season, and Colgate, who held on for 88 minutes. Seemingly coming up short here in the 89. Steed flicks it right back to Lafayette. Leopards smell blood in the water. They want a winner. But it's sent out. Fam. Lofts it ahead. Steed. Good challenge. Lost it. Ms. Rahi. 60 seconds left for somebody to find a winner. Is it in the cards here tonight? Rafael trying to score twice in the final minute and a half to win it, but a foul stops the run of play. That looks like Kitra Melitis. Kitra Melitis. Colgate launches everybody forward for what should be last chance of the game. 30 seconds. Fam. Corey. Tried to play it into the middle, but Devoke nowhere to be found. Loft it up into the air and out of play on the near side. Under 10 left. Lafayette trying to move quickly. And they can't move quick enough. That's how this one comes to a close. Colgate scores in the first half and nearly hangs on for all three points. But Lafayette in the 88th, Hill Lombard, his fifth of the season, ties it, and the points are shared. Aiden DeVoke scores for the Raiders, Lombard.